Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about your fuel pump base stand. Now a lot of you guys are maybe doing a top end rebuild on your motor or you're doing a detailed job on your motor and you want to take all the outer pieces off and uh, you come down to the fuel pump and the fuel pump base and you're trying to take the base off of the motor. A lot of times it sticks here and uh, you try to get under there with a little flathead screwdriver or something to pry it up and sure enough the bottom part that goes into the block has broken off just like what you see here the other part the other half of this stem is now stuck in your motor and I get emails all the time it's like oh Chris what do I do how do I rectify this I don't want the pieces being in the motor or whatnot thankfully this isn't a very serious problem uh, this is a very soft material so if some of the pieces did get down into the motor it's it's not detrimental to the motor it doesn't mean you have to break the motor apart but uh, I'm going to show you a couple tips here on how to Possibly take that piece out, and if you can't take it out, what else you can do? All right, let's get to it. Okay, so as you can see here, here's the fuel pump base. Took the fuel pump off, of course. I tried getting underneath there with a little screwdriver to pry this up. Of course, it was stuck for a little bit, and when I took it off, boom, the stem is broken, and the rest of it is inside the block here. So, I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do to get that out. First off, what you could try to do is get yourself a tap. This is a 5 16th American tap. Doesn't really matter what threads it is. Um, I got this tap from the hardware store. I don't know if you can read those on there, but it says uh, 3 8 uh, 16 NC, whatever that means, but it says in USA it's 5 16th. So, anyways, you're going to want to get the tap and basically start turning it into the broken piece that's in the block. So I got this started already previously, so it's going in pretty easy, but other than that it's really not that difficult. Again, it's very soft material, so it's not very detrimental to the motor. We're going to drain the oil anyway on this, so... Alright, so now it got pretty snug, got pretty tight. Now what you could do is try to wiggle this out to try to get this to come up. But sometimes it doesn't want it because it's so it's stuck in there. It's been in it for, for a very long time. So uh, let me show you one other way we could try to get this out besides trying to pull it out. Yeah, you could rock it back and forth, but you'll probably break the piece inside. So we're going to want to try to do this another way. Your best bet now is to find the corresponding bolt that works with the threads you just tapped into the piece. You're going to want to get yourself a long bolt. That one pretty long. You want to be able to have some meat sticking out so we can hammer this out. So let's start threading the long bolt in here. I don't know, this is probably about four or five inches. Screw that down. Get some meat, get some turns in it so it grabs really nice. Sometimes you can squirt a little bit of oil down in there so maybe it lubricates it a little bit to come up a little bit easier. Using a 17 millimeter socket to drive my bolt down into the thread base of the fuel pump stand that's stuck in there. It's getting tight again. It's good. Okay. Get your vice grips. Get some meat on this. Nice and tight. And check it out. I got it. At least part of it. It looks like another part of it is still stuck in the block. But we got most of it out, and as you can see, got a good a lot of threads through the broken piece, so you grab enough meat, as you can see, and then get yourself a vice grip. Again, go on the bottom of the bolt, right under the head of the bolt, and start hammering up. You might damage your vice grip a little bit, but who cares? You always get another one, right? So, pretty cool. Okay, as I looked in there with a flashlight, there's still more of the stand 
the base in the block. So I'm going to keep going deeper with my tap, cut some more threads, put the bolt back in, and try it again. Right, that's good. Back it off. Get the bolt back in. Remember, just get the corresponding bolt that goes with your tap. Doesn't have to be identical. Oh! Check it out. Ha! The rest of the base came up. All right. So that's pretty, pretty good. I'm glad maybe some of the oil that I squirted down in there helped uh, alleviate that and uh, have it pry out. So I didn't have to put in the bolt now to get the remainder out. It's definitely the, the rest of it because I know it gets tapered towards the bottom and it's not broken at the bottom. So I was actually able to get this out. So success, success. Okay, so we got lucky. You know, I was able to get the tap down into the, into the block, tap some threads, into the you know the neck or the base of the stand that's in the block and was able to actually pull this out you might not be so lucky I mean a lot of times you know you're gonna be in there the tap itself won't be able to pull it out I'd have to use a bolt again to go in there and hammer it up uh, but I think as we kept hammering it up it's gonna be might be a few times for you to free this up uh, but you might get lucky and you might be able to just put the tap in and, and, and pop it right out but sometimes you won't be able to Sometimes you're not even going to be able to use the bolt time after time. It's just not going to happen. And what's going to happen is the pieces will start to break inside the block. Um, we've even had times where we, since we couldn't take this out, I had to go in there with a drill and drill out uh, the piece. And eventually, you know, it'll start to break apart and fall into the motor. If this does happen and you do have the pieces of uh, the fuel pump stand go into the block, it's not really much to worry about. Uh, those pieces will, if you did want to run your motor, the motor itself will probably chew all that stuff up because this is very weak material. It's not going to really damage anything. Uh, but what you could do is just, you know, let the motor sit for a little bit. The pieces will fall to the bottom of the motor. You'll be able to do an oil change, take the screen out, take your gaskets out, and you'll probably find all the fragments and the pieces in there. If you did want to, you could always, you know, tip the block up, you know, throw some, uh, hose some water in there. And you can try to flush out the block and the remaining pieces. But it's really not a, you know, very critical. It's not going to damage anything. It's not, you're not going to throw a rod or a bearing. I mean, unless you have some really major chunks that fell in there, then I'd be worried. But for the most part, it falls to the bottom of the case. And you're able to do an oil change and the pieces will come out. But, you know, this is, here's the other method. The first method is, I think, is to try your tap, put it into the block, cut some threads, and try to pull it right out. So, um, and that's it, guys. So, if you have any questions, uh, email me, chris at classicvwbugs.com, or visit my website, www.classicvwbugs.com. Take care. Uh -huh.